One of the things that stands out to me very starkly in our current day and age is the fact that there are many people who are not Christians who are very, very eager to warn others about some impending doom that they see coming in the culture or in the economy or some kind of political issue. And they are very happy to do so for free. That is, they don't put their warning or their admonition to people behind a paywall. They want people to understand the truth, whether it is the truth or not, but they really, really want to reach people with their message. And they realize instinctively and very obviously and logically that the best way to do that is by giving their message away for free on YouTube or wherever. There are even secular people writing books with these kinds of urgent warnings or messages that are willing to even give away free physical books to those who ask for them. Because they have such a sincere sense of urgency that they want people to hear their message, even if it means them not making as much money. In stark contrast to that, when we look at the evangelical world, we see something very different. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to introduce you to Chris the Prophetic Voice, and you can read this article on the page that's called Christians Who Sell Jesus over at sellingjesus.org. And Chris represents many Christian writers of today. Chris has a timely message and warning for the church. He's filled with a passionate and prophetic urgency to admonish evangelicals about the dangers he sees looming ahead if they do not repent and reform in seven key areas. So, he has written a book in the form of a letter called Dear Church, Seven Lies Seducing Evangelicals. In the book, he talks about how these lies are slowly infiltrating Christendom, and he desperately wants people to be aware of the dire consequences. Speaking from decades of pastoral experience, he believes that God has commanded him to sound a wake-up call to his people, and that he would have blood on his hands if he failed to raise these concerns. Chris has shared in multiple interviews that he had no intentions to write another book in his life, but God made it clear to him that he needed to help deliver people from the deadly deceptions of our anti-Christian culture. Since Chris is already a well-established author, he published his quote-unquote letter with a legacy publishing house. There are two options to choose from, a Kindle version for $14.99 and a hardback for $21.99. It is not freely available in any format, and copying it or sharing it is strictly forbidden in the all rights reserved notice at the beginning of the book. As we've already seen from other profiles like that of Joe the author, what Chris has done is a clear violation of Christ's command, Matthew 10.8, and the wider teaching of Scripture. For example, 2 Corinthians 2.17, Micah 3.11, 2 Corinthians 9. But from a purely pragmatic perspective, Chris's choice for spreading his timely message is completely insane and hypocritical. It is evil, cruel, and illogical. Why? Number one, when you write a letter to someone, it's an insult to require money from that person before allowing them to read it. It goes against the very definition of a letter to charge the recipient for it. Number two, it is both illogical and evil to put a paywall between people and urgent warnings. It's illogical because if you truly want to save people from imminent harm, you want them to get access to your warning as quickly, effortlessly, and freely as possible. For example, if you charge a fee before people can hear a hurricane or fire warning, it reveals that you don't truly want to save lives, nor do you have any real urgency in your heart. This paywall is also evil and cruel because it ensures that many people will suffer harm or death because they didn't hear the warning, especially the poor. Chris, by putting his book behind a paywall, has sealed painful consequences for many people for which he will be held accountable at the judgment by his own assessment and admission. Number three, people who are the most vulnerable to these lies of our anti-Christian culture are often the least likely to pay for a book in order to find out how they've been seduced. Many people who are deceived believe with all their hearts that they're walking in the truth, and they scoff at the idea of going out of their way to pay someone to tell them what lies they've fallen for. 
Ironically, Chris has contributed to the lies that harm evangelicals by believing and promoting a lie himself. The lie that Christian exhortation and messages inspired by the Spirit of God speaking truth can be turned into merchandise. He is not only aggravating the current crisis by keeping his important letter behind a paywall, but also helping to spread the deception that the only way to warn people is by selling that warning. What's even more tragic is that Chris genuinely has radically important things to say. When Christians read his book, they wish they could share it with hundreds of their friends who are flirting with the perils he describes, but they can neither convince their friends to buy it nor afford to buy a copy for everyone in their life who needs to hear his Bible-saturated admonitions. In spite of this frustration, most believers slavishly accept this cruel evil as normal and even defend it as the way things should be. And so many people remain deceived and unwarned while Chris and his publisher grow richer.